Hi guys, it's Nancy. We're going to be playing with some more stencils that I bought from the last stamp show I was at from the ton. This is the Climbing Hibiscus Layering Stencil, and I believe it's four stencils. Yes, one, two, three, four stencils. I have it stuck, I have paper stuck to the grip mat. This is the six by seven grip mat by the ton. I have some pixie tape. And we're going to play with, do you guys remember when we got this? I think we got them over COVID. They are, um, what do we call these? Air, um, what are they called? <laughs> and the reason I got it out, airbrush, is because I was fixing a scratch on my boyfriend's car. And I was like, oh, I have this out. And then Leah and I started playing around with her nails. And I was like, oh, I could use this on stencils. So this is a USB charged airbrush. It comes in a couple parts. I'll try to find it in my Amazon shop for you guys. But this plugs in and it's USB charged. And then you power it on right here. Okay. So this is the heaviest part. It's really not that heavy. And then this part screws on the top here. And this is the part that is controlled. We hold it in our hand like this, press down, and that releases the air. And then this is the part that you put whatever you want in here. So I had put paint in here to paint um, my boyfriend's car where the scratch was. Leah and I were putting nail polish in here and spraying our nails. And now I'm going to put alcohol ink in here and spray through the stencil. So let's let's have at it this controls like the airflow like the density of the airflow so i'm going to pull this out a little bit so that we have a wider airflow and then this is like the strength like how much air like air on and off basically so we're going to pull this out so it's a wider stream the more you push this in the tighter the stream is so we're going to open this up because we want a wider air stream because this is a big stencil and then um, we're going to put i'm going to use blending solution to kind of dilute the alcohol ink a little bit so stencil number one it says we're going to need a light pink here are the instructions for this so stencil number one and i'm going to start with lighter colors and work our way up to darker colors and i'm going to put some pixie tape kind of around this i don't really want too much over spray on my grip mat Oops. Of course, you can use your, your blending, um, you know, brushes and things like that, which, but I was like, didn't we all get these during COVID and they're probably sitting there. Let's charge them up and play with them. Let's see how we do on our stencils with this. Okay. And so for the first color, we want a light pink. And so I have alcohol ink pink sherbet. So I'm going to put some blending solution in my little well here first. You really don't need a lot of ink. And it says we need three colors of pink, but I'm going to dilute. I'm going to start with the pink sherbet, add some gumball, and then go straight on with some gumball. So I'm going to add some, and you might want to wear a mask if the smell of this alcohol ink kind of gets to you, but I'm just going to add a couple of drops of blending solution in here just to give us you know, some something to work with. Move that out of the way. And then I'm going to add some pink sherbet. Give us some color. So, like, I have six drops. And then I have, like, a little sturdy stick thing. And I do have paper towels off to the side. Where's my little stir stick thing? So I should have like a nice soft pink in there. So I know it's hard to tell because the well and then that lid just pops on then I press this button and turn it on 
And nothing's going to come out until I press down on this button. And then let me get some paper towels here. And I can just kind of press down on here. Now I don't have a lot of air coming out. I can turn this on the end for some more of that air. And this is going to evaporate pretty quickly because, again, it's alcohol ink, so. I don't really have anything coming out. Let me turn this off and check it. Oh, got to pull back. There we go. There you can see the pink. Got to pull back on the handle a little bit. All right. So I'm just going to kind of spray. There we go. Can you guys see that? Hopefully you guys can see that. And I'm just pulling, I'm pulling back on the handle as I press down. So we're out. There's not too much in there. So we're going to add a little bit more. And that was layer one. Let me change my stencil out before I add more. Like I said, it evaporates pretty quickly. I'm going to reuse my tape here. And it dries quick, too. So I don't have to worry about any kind of um, smudging or anything. Pretty easy to do. And then I can just wipe these down with um, alcohol wipes layer. Okay, layer number two, second petal layer. This is supposed to be a darker pink. You can pretty easily see how they line up. more blending solution just a couple of drops I'm gonna add that same pink and I'm just gonna add one drop of the gumball or not because I can't get it open can't get it open let's grab a different color But flamingo. Oh, that's so much easier. And again, just gonna use my little stir stick. Pop the lid on, turn it on, do a little practice spray. Okay. Oop. I 
my tip fell off. Sounds like I'm pretty much out of ink on that one. Yep. This goes pretty quickly. You don't need to add a lot of solution in there. You can always add more. I want to just dab the top of my stencil there to make sure I don't have any, make sure it's all dry there. Pretty cool, okay, number two. All right, number three, it says to use a dark pink for our centers. Just going to add a very little amount of blending solution because that's a very small area that we're going to be stenciling. And for that, we're just going to go straight on with the flamingo. solution. Turn it on. And that's done. I want to spray out any excess because we're going to be switching colors. And I want to clean the inside of my barrel here. Yep, make sure I get all that out because we're going to be changing to green. So I'm just going to clean that out. spray out any excess because you're going to be changing the green in a minute. Okay. So the last stencil is going to be the leaves. How light and fluffy and pretty that is. That looks so pretty. I mean, there's a reason they call it airbrushing. Okay. 
Okay, we're just going to line that up. And then for this one, same thing. Gonna add a little bit of blending solution. And for our green, I have pulled out Limeade. Just four drops of Limeade. That's it. That's all we have. Let's see the final results. Ooh, look how pretty that is. So light and airy. And that's just using an airbrush. And that is the Climbing Hibiscus Layering Stencil from the Ton Stamps using an airbrush. May or may not have one, but just trying something different. Yeah. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Let me know if you want me to demonstrate it using blending brushes like I would normally do. Something different. Just wanted to try it out for you guys. If you enjoyed watching this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you're interested in purchasing these products, I'll put the links down below for you guys. You can support Effie over at thetonstamps.com or at your local stamp show. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.